What is this PAR or CDG or any digit code in this my flight tickets? And what are the airport codes for Paris or London? There are more than two. Hi, my name is Minji, Developer Advocate at Amadeus for Developers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to decode and encode these location codes with Amadeus Self-Service API as a starter of your flight booking engine. To build your flight booking engine, you first need to understand how to handle all these codes that you're going to face everywhere. I was demonstrating in the Getting Started series that I was trying to request the first API call in Amadeus for Developer Portals. And if you remember well, I put some codes, for example, BKK for Bangkok or SYD for Sydney. So these are the codes that from IATA. International Air Transportation Associations. In the previous video, I briefly covered about IATA. So this IATA put the standard with the code so that all the companies in the world can clearly and precisely communicate all these complicated air connections. So how do you work with all this complicated code to start? We have a simple solution with our API called Airport and City Search API. So airport and city search API finds an airport and city that match with a specific word or string. It returns with three IATA codes and time zone and other information. Let's have a look. All right, so I'm a developer.amadeus.com. So if you click the products and air, you will see the old list of API under air category. And airport and city search is under utility. So you can just click. So airport city search, you will find the information what this API does. For example, this, a this API will answer the questions of which city or airports begins with LON or PAR. Or the other way, you can check that, okay, what this CDG or PAR means, which city or which airports are referring to. So in order to try to shoot this API, let me try in our Postman collections. Right, so now I'm in the Amadeus for Developers Postman collections. Let me try to authorize it first to access to the under API. So I already, my API keys are already in the environment. So I'm just going to authorize. And now I get the access tokens. And as I mentioned again, airport and city search is under air and utility categories. And as you can see, we have a two endpoints under this API. So let's start with the keyword by keyword so meaning that you will be able to put any keyword to uh, to see the any match any cities and airports will match with this keyword so for example i want to try with pr and i want to see in france so if i s try to shoot yes so the this postman generates uh, postman request the api in test environment and now i see the result so here, as you can see, we have um, Paris. And this is the ID you have to remember if you want to use the second endpoint. And now we have also IATA code. So this CT Paris IATA code is PAR. And you have an address. And another result that you will see is, for example, this is the airport, Cher de Gaulle, the main airport in Paris. And the IATA code for this shared goal is CDG. So you will be able to get this information and you will be able to display or autocomplete your search for the flights to start for your flight booking engine. This was the first endpoint. And the second endpoint, this airport city search by ID is where I mentioned that you need to remember this ID to search. So sometimes developer needs to retrieve this information so you can just simply copy and paste this ID in CPAR. And I will just put here CPAR to send it. And now I got the information here that, okay, this CPAR ID is Paris, which is a CT, and which is the IATA code PAR. So this is how you use the airport and city search API. For this airport and city search API, remember two things. So first, if you're testing in the test environment, don't forget that we have a test data collections. Test data collection is available in our documentations. 
and here free test site data collection so you can check that now we have airport and city search for test environment you will be able to only return in US, Spain, or UK, and Germany and India. So don't forget that you can also test in production environment with the free quota. And the second thing that you need to remember is this API is only returning the cities which has an airport. So if you are looking for all the city regardless of the airport, please check out the other API called city search. So all these informations are in available in the API reference page. Apart from the airport and city search API, we have another API that you can use to find the airline codes which is airline code lookup API under the same category of the airport and city search. So with this API, you can find the name of airlines by, IAT, by IATA and ICAO, which is another association for international aviation. So you can find the information about this API here in this API page, and you can play uh, as, a, as I demonstrated before in the Postman or in the portals. This, inf this API is an optional actually um, because this same information is in fact being written as a part of flight search, flight offer search API that you are gonna cover it in next video. All right, that's it for the airport, cities, and airline codes to start with your booking agent. You may want to integrate this API into your application to autocomplete to, with your flight search form you can also search out um, we have um, some examples and the prototypes apps that you can check out to see how the other developers are handling this information with the api if you like this video don't forget to subscribe the channel and in the next video i'm gonna finally cover the first step of the flight booking engine which is the flight offer search see you in the next video thank you for watching